Hey, Greg. You coming over soon? I just finished dinner. Yeah, I'll be there in a bit. Sorry. I'm just leaving the office. Really? Bob's making you work late again? Actually, I just got a pretty difficult phone call. I'll tell you about it when I get back. Oh, is everything okay? No. Honey, what's wrong? It's my dad. Your dad? The guy who kicked you out of his life forever? What the hell does that asshole want? He's sick, Ben. Oh. Yeah, he's been sick for a while now, and I guess it's gotten him to reevaluate things. He wants to see me again. Wow. I know. So, are you going to see him? I, I think so. I don't know. Well, that's expected, but it's progress, right? Did he apologize for how he treated you? No, but he's still my dad, and I really think he needs me there. Okay, it's your choice. When? Tomorrow. Okay, do you want me to come with you? No, thanks, but I think it'll be easier if it's just me. I understand. I won't stay long, just a day or two. Take as long as you want. You have so much vacation time saved up, and if this means that you'll finally get some closure over that part of your life, well, it's up to you. Yeah, anyway, I'm coming home now. See you in a bit. Hey, Tina. Want to come over for dinner tomorrow? Sure. I'd love to see you and Greg again. It's been weeks. Actually, it'll just be me. That's kind of why I'm inviting you. I'd rather not be alone. Is everything okay? Yeah, I mean, things are okay with me. But Greg is planning to leave town for a bit. Why? He's driving back to Kingman. That hellhole? I thought he said he wouldn't be caught dead going back there. That is what he said. But I guess his dad is pretty sick and he wants to see him. Eek, is he sure that's wise? He's already made up his mind. But after everything his dad did to him... I know, the guy's a homophobic prick. But family is family, I guess. You never met Larry, have you? Hell no, and I never planned to. I asked Greg if he wanted me to come with, and he said no. I'm grateful for that. You should be. Larry is one of the most awful human beings I've ever met. You know my cousin works for him, right? Yeah, at his used car dealership or something. I'm worried about Greg. I hope this trip isn't too much for him. Well, I've been talking with him for the last hour, and I made him promise that if his dad starts disrespecting him in any way, he'll leave. But I'll keep checking in on him just in case. Good. And yes to dinner. Do you need me to bring anything? Wine. Lots of it. <laughs> sure. I just got here. Wish me luck. Good luck. Make your peace and don't put up with any shit. Thanks. I'll do my best. Ben, I miss you so much. I miss you too. How's your dad? Terrible. It's so much worse than I thought. Really? He's not just sick, Ben. He's dying. Oh, I'm so sorry. But at least you're there with him. Yeah, it feels good to be back. It really does. And there aren't any issues between you? What kind of question is that? He's dying. You don't expect me to say anything that would upset him even more, do you? No, I, I guess not. My message didn't come out right. I just wanted to know if things were civil. I mean, considering he kicked you out and everything. Yeah, they're fine. Good. So he's come around? Well, I haven't mentioned anything about my personal life. I haven't mentioned you, obviously. Oh. You're judging me. Stop. I'm not judging you. Honey, don't be mad. I just think that if this is the last time you'll see him, it might be healthy to really open up to him, you know? This is your only chance, Greg. I know that! Sorry, I know you're upset and I didn't mean to start anything. Please, don't be mad at me. I'm not. I'm just in a weird headspace right now. Are you still planning to come back tomorrow? No, it looks like I'll be extending my stay. Okay, take your time. I'll check in later. Love you. Love you too. Tina, I'm really worried about Greg. What happened? That's just it. I don't know. A couple days ago, he told me that he was extending his stay. And then ever since, he keeps avoiding my calls. And when he does answer, our conversations are always so short and awkward. Like something's wrong and he doesn't want to tell me. Well, that makes sense. What do you mean? Isn't it obvious? The more time he spends with his dad, the worse he probably feels about himself. You're probably right. God, I'm so worried. It'll be okay. Greg's not an idiot, and he's no longer the insecure little teen that got pushed out on the street. He's an adult, and he knows that there are people back here who love him. Yeah, I just hope he comes back soon. 
Me too. Greg, hey, I haven't heard from you. Is everything okay? <laughs> Greg, well, I'm, I'm thinking about you. Call me when you can. Sorry, Ben, I've been busy. Can I call you? I'd like to hear your voice. No, sorry. Okay, but since we're texting, can you tell me how everything's going? Are you okay? Yeah. Good. And how's your dad? Sick. Okay, so when are you coming home? I don't know. I'm sorting things out right now. I have a lot to figure out. I understand. Please, call me when you can. Greg, what's going on? I just heard from Bob. He said that you quit? I did. What's going on? Ben, we need to talk. Of course we do. I've been waiting days to talk with you. It's not working. What's not working? Us. I'm sorry, Ben. I've made a mistake. What do you mean? We can't see each other anymore. I'm straight. I've always been straight. <laughs> sorry, Ben. You can keep all my old stuff. Tina, Greg broke up with me through a text. What? He said he wasn't gay anymore. He said he'd made a mistake. And he wasn't joking? No. Jesus. Something happened. I know it. Do you think that his dad's keeping him captive or worse? Do you think he took Greg's phone and used it to cut off all ties with his real life? Because I can't think of another explanation. The text did not sound like Greg. Obviously, he's as gay as they come. No offense. What should I do? Don't panic. If there's something shady going on, we'll figure it out. What if he's hurt? We'll figure it out. Just be calm for now. There's no use panicking. I need to drive over there. Do you know his dad's address? No, but before you do that, let me call my cousin Rachel. The one who works for Larry? Yeah, I'll ask her to find out whatever she can. Maybe she's seen him. Okay, can you do that right now? Yeah, I'll call you back. Okay, I found some things out. What? First of all, Greg's okay. He's not hurt or anything. Your cousin saw him? Yeah, at the dealership. Larry's assistant was giving him a tour of the place. And he looked okay? She said he looked fine, not happy or anything. She said he had a serious expression, and he didn't smile at her when she said hi. But he didn't seem like he was held there against his will or anything. Okay, that's good. When he wasn't looking, she snapped his photo. Uh, brace yourself. <laughs> oh my god! I know, it barely looks like him. He cut off all his hair! And what's he wearing? He looks like an accountant. But it's him. I don't understand any of this. Do you think he's been hypnotized or something? I, I don't think that's how hypnosis works. Then how has he changed so much? That's the question. Rachel said she'll keep sleuthing and message me back when she finds out anything else. But for now, I think you should try calling him again. No matter what he says, I know that he still loves you. Just try to get him to be honest. Okay. <laughs> Greg, I'm not going to stop calling until you answer. Please. You owe me that. Greg, come on. You of all people know how awful it is when someone cuts you out of their life. Hi. Greg, you're there. I am. I've been so worried about you. Don't be. I'm starting a new life right here. It's what's best for me. Really? Where are you going to live? Where are you going to work? I'm staying at my dad's house. I actually have the same bedroom I did when I was growing up. I assume your dad took down the One Direction posters. And as for money, I'm going to be just fine. How? I'm taking over dad's dealership. What? But you don't know anything about cars? I know, but it's a great opportunity for me. Dad's on his last legs and he wants to spend whatever time he has left on the beach. So he's signing over everything to me and even letting me keep the house and I'll be running the business from now on. Wow. I know it's not what I expected out of life, but I'll be living comfortably from now on without me. I'm sorry, Ben. Dad made it clear that if I was going to take over the business, I had to start clean. Did you forget how he treated you? Did you forget how he kicked you out when you told him you were gay? No, I remember. And you're just okay with it now? I've moved on. Clearly. And he won't be here much longer. After he signs everything to me, he'll be in Belize. Belize? Where's that? Central America. It's beautiful, I guess. Tropical. The cost of living is a lot lower and the hospitals are pretty good. 
so he'll be able to get whatever kinds of meds he needs without spending too much. And you'll be managing a car dealership all on your own? I'll have a whole staff, but yeah, that's the plan. Seriously, Greg, is this really what you want? It is. I'm sorry. You said that already. And you don't have any regrets. No. Dad made it very clear that he wants me to keep his business alive, and the only way it would work is if I distance myself from the mistakes I've made. Mistakes? You keep using that word. Are you calling me a mistake? No, please don't think that. I just mean that I didn't really know myself before. But I do now. Seriously? You spent half of your life hating that asshole, and now you're going to be him. You're going to be little Larry Jr. I gotta go. Wait, I have to ask you something. No, I think we're done. Please, I promise I'll stop contacting you, but I have to ask this. Fine, what? Did you ever love me? No, Ben. I I'm sorry. But I'm not gay, and I was never in love with you. I I'm sorry if this hurts. Yeah, understood. Ben! I just found out something. You won't believe it. Oh my god, I was just going to call you. I talked to Greg, and I finally figured it all out. Okay, you go first. What did he say? He said that his dad is signing over the dealership to him. I guess because he's on his deathbed or whatever, he decided to pass everything off to his son and then move to Belize to finish out the rest of his miserable life. And Greg said yes. He chose to ditch me to run straight back into the closet because of all the money he'll be getting. Oh my god. I know. You know what that means, right? It means that Greg is turning into the exact man that he's hated. He's Larry 2.0. This is insane. And I gave him one last chance to change his mind. I asked him point blank if he ever loved me. He waited five minutes and then said no. I know that's bullshit. I know he's lying to me, but I just don't know if he's lying to himself. Or if he actually believes that he's straight now. If you ask me, I think it's all about the money. I think he's just doing what his dad wants because he wants to be rich. And this is going to blow up in his face. Epically. I hope so. No, it will. I know for a fact. Huh? You should have let me go first. You will not believe what I found out. Larry isn't dying. He isn't even sick. What? Yeah, that's all made up. How do you know this? My cousin told me. But what about giving Greg his business and moving to Belize? Oh, he's still going to do that, but it's not because he's sick. It's because his business is failing and he's passing on all his debt to Greg. Ben, I'll take your silence as a sign of shock. Or maybe you're just laughing over the poetic irony. A little of both. Yeah, my cousin snuck into Larry's office after we talked. She looked through his financial stuff and found two sets of books. One showed them deeply in the red, like over a million, and the other was grossly inflated. I can only assume that he showed Greg the fake one. And after what you just told me, it's pretty clear why. I can't believe it. Greg is abandoning everything he believes in, abandoning me just so that he can get rich. But he's actually going to get sucked into debt? Glorious, right? Absolutely perfect. Yeah. My cousin's not too happy, though. She's going to have to get a new job before the whole place goes under. Right. Uh, sucks for her. Eh, she can manage. Tonight, she's meeting with all her co-workers to tell them the news, too. They can all go job hunting together. So not only will Greg take on a failing business, but he won't even have a staff. Looks like it. She didn't say anything to Greg, right? No. And you're not going to tell him either, are you? I don't know. Once he signs those papers, he'll be in huge trouble. Don't tell me you feel sorry for him. He chose this. I know, but on one hand, I'm here for the karma. But on the other, we've been together for three years. I still love him. And do you think he still loves you? I do. Then doesn't that make things worse? I mean, he's choosing money over love. It would be one thing if he just dumped you for a new job, but he's basically betraying you and himself. You're right. When is he signing the papers? I don't know. Soon, I guess. Well, you have all the information. The ball's in your court. You can save him from himself, or you can let him ruin his life. Think about it. Thanks, Tina. No problem. I know this whole situation is really crappy, but all this sleuthing and detective work... It's kind of fun. Why are you sending me photos of our New York trip? To remind you of us. To remind you of what you're about to leave behind. Stop it, okay? I'm moving on. That was the old me. And this is us in Branson. Stop it! Don't make me block this number. If I don't mean anything to you anymore, then these photos shouldn't be that big of a deal, right? 
You shouldn't feel anything. Please, you're distracting me. Dad's signing over the dealership to me this afternoon, and I do not want to be distracted. So today's the day, huh? Yeah. And I assume your dad's flying out ASAP? Tomorrow morning. Got it. Listen, Greg, I know I said I wouldn't contact you again, but I just have to give you one last chance. Do you honestly believe that you're making the right decision here? Do you really think that you won't be miserable taking on a life that isn't meant for you? I've made my decision. Okay, then go ahead and sign those papers. I'll be out of your life forever. <laughs> I think you can guess what happened next. Greg took on the dealership and his dad fled the country. It took Greg a full week to realize he'd been screwed over. By then, he drove straight back here, probably to apologize and ask for my help. It was pouring rain and he stood on my porch, his former porch, and waited for me. I never answered the door. I'm sure he's tried to call, but since I blocked his number, he had to reach me through Tina. I told her to ignore him. He made his decision and I have too much respect for myself to let him back into my life. Honestly, I don't know what happens after this. I don't know if Greg is going to have to declare bankruptcy or try to sue his dad or something. All I know is that it's not my problem. Do I feel sorry for him? A little. We had three wonderful years together, but the man who would betray everything he believed in for money is not the same man I fell in love with. I've moved on, and I hope that he can too.